We've seen the impact already. Mm -hmm. Even when you take a look at first half numbers in France, a drop of about 4% in France mm -hmm. is an important market, a quarter yes. of all the rooms you have. How much visibility do you have for the rest of the year? I mean, it's always hard to predict how long an incident like that is going to impact your business. You know, as you said, this year we've been down a little bit over 4%, and it was recovering, but then, of course, the attack in Nice uh, set us back again. Uh, so it will certainly impact the summer holiday months. You know, we're w w more confident once we move into September, October, November, which are a gr uh, much more business travel months, that, that the, uh, the visitation will start to come back. France has been hit, but how about the rest of Europe, and how are the currencies mm, playing mm. out? We have post-Brexit, a weak pound, yes. but a euro. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, Br Brussels, of course, got hit badly, uh, and there was an immediate drop in business there following the attack. Uh, so far, we haven't really felt the impact in Germany. Uh, the UK, we will, we'll actually eventually see uh, relatively soon an increase in visitation because of the drop in the pound, but then vice versa, the drop in the pound has a negative impact on our result as well. The Asia-Pacific, are you optimistic? Yeah, no, no, you, no. you have a growing operation here. We, we do. We actually have almost 750 hotels and another 300 under development, so it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a huge growth uh, market for us. And, and we're, in fact, we're, we're now uh, the, the largest part of Accor by number of rooms in terms of regions. And it, it, it's actually going quite well in this part of the world. But you're facing increasing competition uh, across um, different mm -hmm. issues. The digital space, the likes yes. of Booking.com. There's also disruption in mm -hmm. the industry. We're talking about Airbnb. How are you impacted by yeah. all these mm -hmm. developments? And are you prepared to face such competition? Well, I mean, there's always competition out there. And different, though. Th different or, or more, more e evolving. You know, there's always been travel agents out there, but now the online travel agents are, are more prevalent than ever and, and certainly more global than the travel agents before and, and, and pushing up their commissions, which, of course, is a negative uh, impact on our, our business. And then the share, the, the sh I don't really like the word sharing economy, but the home, home rental market is growing and, and because of the, 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 the digital enabler. And so we, we need to be uh, very vigilant and, 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 and competitive with, with both of those. So we've invested heavily in, in digital and, and also, in fact, also even in the sharing economy, we, we, we recently made an acquisition of One Fine State. Is it fair to say that recent developments have forced our core to change its strategy? Yeah, always. But you know, if you're not changing your strategy, if you're not responding to what's going on in the world, then you're in a lot of trouble. So we're never afraid of competition. It's, you know, we just need to get better. We always have to get better. Do you see consolidation within the industry now that the space is increasingly seeing new players? Yeah, well, I mean, it's happening. You know, we recently acquired Fairmont Raffles Hotels International, a big acquisition for us. There's a, an, another major merger out there by some of our competitors. So, so co consolidation has been happening, and we think it'll continue. So when it comes to the company, we've seen it expand. You go from the luxury hotels to the budget hotels. Mm -hmm. I pretty much covered uh, the whole industry. How competitive are you and how do you view who are your competitors now? It, you know, I actually believe around, certainly around this region, our fiercest competitors are usually the domestic players. So whether it's in, in China, it's the, 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 the domestic players in Australia, it, it's the domestic players in Indonesia. And then, of course, you know, globally we compete with the other international hotel companies. But on, on the ground, in, in the major countries, it's usually a domestic player that we, we have the greatest battles with. So what kind of growth are you anticipating in the Asia-Pac region? Which particular markets will drive that growth? Yeah, well, I mean, th th this year we will open close to 85 hotels. Right, so we open well over a hotel a, hotel a week. Um, the biggest growth is concentrated in, in China, of course. Uh, Indonesia is a very big growth market for us. We have over 100 hotels open and about another 75 under development. And then India would also be a big growth market for oh, us. 